Okay, good morning, Riyadh. Away you go. <laughs> Uh, good morning, good morning, yeah, yeah. Uh, really, if we look to everything around our life, we will see and we will be sure everything came from bees. Because every spoon, every vegetable eating every day, every piece of fruit, every uh, piece of meat we eating every day, it is before, because the bees. Why bees? Bees producing honey, but what is the relation between honey and our daily uh, life and eat? Um, really, the, the main purpose is main, uh, of bees just for make pollination. Bees always uh, searching about their food, but in her searching, she is doing like pollination. What the pollination meaning? Pollination is the process involves the transfer of pollen from the male part to another female parts in other flower. It should be some time in on same flower because because there is the, the organs of uh, 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 the parts of uh, flowers maybe not. Um, able to, to transfer her pollen to her uh, female parts. So this time, bees going to do like this position. This photo show us how pollen transferred from flower to others. Uh, Sometimes same flower, maybe it's not uh, likely to, to, con to continue their fertilization and continue the pollination uh, proce procedure. Okay. Important to move uh, hair pollen to other flower just to make uh, the pollination in best way. Okay. See, in this the drawing, uh, the, the parts of flower, how uh, um, the author where bees, where, where pollen um, lives or contain, transfer to stigma of female parts, yes. then growing to inside the oval and make uh, the fertilization and uh, making the fruit and seeds. Okay. When we look, when we look around ourselves, we find about 99% of bees types, they are from honey bees, and one percent from other kinds of bees. Wow. Okay. In, yeah. In general, there is four thousand genus or genera yeah. or type of bees around the world. These four thousand contain twenty-five thousand species. These 25,000 25, species discovered now, but every day, scientists discovering more and more hundreds of species of plants and bees and animals and uh, other insects. Wow. And kinds of bees also discovered every day. Okay. So 25,000 species not fixed, they will continue to grow and to to, to increase more and more in future. Okay. If we follow the classification, just to, 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 to give you, to show you how honeybees, uh, wh where is honeybees uh, uh, standing on um, the classification? Yeah. Usually, all creatures maybe uh, divided into two parts. Animals or plant. So we call it phalum. Phalum of animal, phalum of plants. Bees related to animal phalum. phalum. And the phalum, there is uh, another lot of classes, lot of classes. One of them, insect class. Insect. And bees related to insect class. Okay. And every class also contain 
families and every family is contains sub family sub families like the place between classes and family right so uh, b is related to sub family or sub uh, super family apoide yeah apoide contains all kinds of bees and also contains wasp wasp uh, family wasp okay. family okay. lots of family wasp family Brilliant. so super family or sub family contain nine families okay contain nine families over 400 genus contain contains over 100 uh, 4000 4, 4, genus yeah and these 4000 genus contain also uh, this is in US in the United States contain 25 uh, 250 species you're sorry in, in 4000 species in the United States and 250 species in United Kingdom wow now I will show you uh, these families happy day maybe contain um, about uh, Ninety uh, percent of kinds of bees. You will see here a lot of kinds of bees, but the percentage of quantity, quantity and type. You see, there is difference between twenty quantity and type. Yeah. Maybe one type of these bees is honey bees, and honey bees containing ninety nine percent. Of quantity of bees around uh, the world. Okay. So we will dis we will uh, we, we will say seventy percent of pollinators related to honeybees, right. and thirty percent of pollination related to other thousands types of bees. Okay. You see how honeybee is very important. Yes. Seventy percent of pollination related to honeybees only one type only one species one species okay. one species, one okay. species. and 30 percent of um, kinds of types of bees related to uh, thousands of types of bees okay so happy happy day contain like social bees yeah. and solitary yeah. species okay all of them lives in social life yes. they can't live individual because they have doing like a family family job and maybe every every, every bee is starting her her job from la, from from emerge emerge day to to, to death day about 40 positions Every day she has one position okay. till she leave uh, her life. Okay. Usually she lives about seven weeks in summer time okay. and three months in winter time. Right. Okay. Uh, other other families containing many kinds of bees, but not important as pollinator like honeybees. Yeah. But also another uh, or remains. Uh, four families. Okay. These families, uh, all of them containing uh, types of bees doing some kinds of pollination. Okay. Honey bee is related to genus named Apis, so we call her Apis bellifera okay. from family Apidae. Okay. Uh, this kind of bees, Apis mellifera, there is a lot of strains. For example, in Britain, in the United Kingdom, there is British black bees. The color of that bee is dark and looking like um, a, a black color. Okay, black. And her name is Apis mellifera mellifera. Apis mellifera mellifera. For example, in Syria, Apis mellifera syriaca. In Italy, there is another kind of bees named Apis mellifera italian. Okay. Uh, so there is 26 uh, 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 not species, subspecies 
like um, strains, 26 strains around the world. Yeah. All of them doing pollination in best way and doing 70% of quantity of pollination okay. for, of all plants and flowers available. Uh, honeybees, as I mentioned, class as social bees, yeah. lives in colony. Yeah. Every colony, they contain one queen and several hundreds of drones right. as male, male uh, bees. Yeah. And thousands of workers. These workers like unfertilized and they can't lay an, an, uh, any egg, but just collecting and foraging and during her foraging making like this pollination. Okay. Uh, the other kind of bees is bumblebees. Okay. Honeybees and bumblebees doing about 95% uh, of pollination for all flowers around the world. Okay. And thousands, thousands of kinds, they are doing like five, five remain 5%. All of, it, it means it related to quantity of bumblebees and honeybees yes. available around the world. Okay. <sighs> Bumblebees, they are nesting in the ground, like a small g g cave, and her nest very small. The quantity of uh, her family or colony between 50 till 400 workers. Yeah. And they continue her life during about just for three or four months. Okay. For example, now we are in October now no traces to uh, bumblebees all of them now they hibernated early they started to hibernate since last month i think or on august i think in august right okay. and they uh, hibernate as one queen uh, just to be very active next year to start uh, establish her family okay the bees pollinator they come make the pollination in closed area like greenhouses where honeybees they can't do like this pollination honeybees doing their pollination in an open open area on fields okay but bumblebees they have a uh, good orientation and they can do this uh, pollination inside the greenhouses or inside houses or 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 rooms inside houses right okay. and also bumblebees they can forage a flowers where honeybees they can't do this foraging yeah it yeah. means bumblebees they can forage a traces of nectar but honeybees they can't forage like these traces because her tongue is very short okay. if we compared with bumblebees okay bumblebees has long tongue and her tongue reach to the depth uh, where honeybees they can't uh, do this type of uh, forage or pollination okay and also the concentration of ne of nectar less concentration be honeybees can uh, forage or uh, absorb from or lick from uh, flowers okay. uh, should be more than 19% of sugar. But bumblebees, they can uh, use till 10% of sugar in nectar available in like um, these uh, lack, 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 lack flowers of flower, of, of, yeah, lack for uh, nectar of, in, in flowers. Okay, can I just check those numbers again? So, with honeybees, it's up to 19, one nine, or nine no, zero no, percent. Starting from 19. Starting from 19 percent of from sugar in the nectar. From 19 to 35 or 32. Right, of sugar in the nectar the that they can bees. collect. Okay. Yeah. So, more than 35 will be sticky, and bees, yes. they can't do like this uh, foraging. Yes. Uh, they prefer between 19 and 35. They prefer. Okay. But bumblebees, 
they can do between 10 and uh, 19. Right. Where honeybee, they can do like this uh, foraging. In this case, the, the main position for pollination will be by bumblebees. Right. So bumblebee is helping our environment very well because he is doing a pollination where honeybees, they can do it, doing it. Right. Uh, in general, as I mentioned to you, bumblebees and honeybees, they are making more than 90 percentage of uh, pollination around the flowers on the world. And they remain related to thousands of kinds of bees they are doing like uh, this pollination because the quantity of these bees very little if we yeah. compare with quantity of bumblebees and honeybees okay beautiful thing bumblebees bumblebees they are like, her name in 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 its scientific name bombos bombos species you yeah. see the, the genus of uh, bumblebees came from bombos bombos, bombos okay. or bumble came from buzzing okay. the beautiful thing is when bumblebees flying there is like a physical uh, physical uh, electricity or uh, sta statics statics yeah. is it right statics like uh, silent yeah silent the sign yeah statics electricity uh, charging her body because okay. her body covered by types of hair yeah. not available in other uh, insects okay okay and yeah and um, uh, she, she like uh, shaking her wings or what you call it when uh, flapping flapping yeah. yeah when she flapping her her wings the quantity of flapping also very uh, more speeder than uh, honeybees or other insects. Okay. Once she doing like this fly, she charge in negative sign electricity. Right. Okay. Once she approach to any flower, particularly to 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 author, there's some explosion happening between negative and positive because flowers always charge in positive sign yeah once she approached to uh, uh, the author some small uh, explosion happening and all pollen released honeybees they can do like this pollination yes yep so bumblebees uh, may be filling the gap of honeybees which can do like pollination yeah. from because um, the, the, the mechanism of pollen release, re release yeah. and concentration of nectar. So bumblebees doing like a very hard position where honeybees they can do like this position. Another type of bees uh, named leaf cutter, leaf cutter of bees. Okay. Yeah, the, the, these kind of bees also they they, they cut uh, like a circle pieces of uh, leaves. Wow. And okay. Build, build, yeah, and build her nest from cellulose. Right. And continue their uh, their nest, and she do little little quantity of. Uh, pollination position uh, leaf cutter bee can do the job of 20 honey bees right okay you see it's very amazing information yes one, it is. one bee <laughs> of leaf cutter equal to 20 honey bees position wow okay. but because the quantity of this kind of bees is very, very few, very little. So we can give her importance and impart importance position. Maybe if we can give her like a ratio between leaf cutter and honeybees. Yeah. Maybe maybe one ppm, one part of million. 
Wow, okay. Yeah. And it's very Maybe important it's, we protect these bees, yeah, I imagine, but, because of that. Yeah. But, but when we it, it, it check her position, she can do the job equal to 20 honeybees okay. Uh, job. Okay. Uh, other, other kinds, Mason bees. Yeah. Mason bees like uh, also doing uh, containing 50 species. 500 species, yeah. but still there. Uh, uh, if you want to know, if you want to know um, the effective of every kind of bees, we should to look to her leg. Right. Okay. You see. Yeah. Her leg. If you com compare her leg to leg of honey bees, we will find there is a comb on honeybees right. comb and large and wide in this comb there is four rows of hairs uh, making like combing and um, uh, gathering pollen and put it in uh, like a bowl and fix it in uh, between parts of her legs right it means her position to carrying legs is more important than other bees and doing her job as pollinator and transferring pollen more and more in thousands or millions times of importance right okay this kind of bees you see it is very simple without any comb and without any uh, basket right to carry the, the pollen yeah. it means her uh, position of pollination like a manner, manner uh, position, not 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 uh, not main. Manner like not important, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Scientists always they make identification for for bees related to types of crops. I'm just going to close example. my back door one second. Okay. Sorry, we had Callie on for the noise. <laughs> yeah. Go ahead, go ahead. Uh, the kinds of bees, yeah. like in meaning, meaning bees, Okay, my name uh, is, you yeah. see, not related to uh, related to, uh, to other family of bees. You see, yeah. as you see. and uh, this family contain hundred uh, one thousand five four hundred of species. Wow. Okay. Okay. This kind of bees, like she has like, the expertise to make pollination for special special kinds of fruit and crops like okay. blueberries and apple and uh, some kinds of vegetables okay so i don't want to make it very complex because we are talking to to children just just to compare between honeybees plus uh, bumblebees and compare with other uh, meaner kinds of bees. I understand. Uh, just we sh should concentrate about uh, the percentage of 95% of pollination related to bumblebees and honeybees. And 5% related to other kinds of bees, some kind of uh, butterflower, uh, butterfly, yes. and uh, other kinds of uh, uh, like. Uh, uh, beetles and other kinds of fly like that five percent only related to other pollinators and 95 percent related to bumblebees and honeybees and that's for this so reason important. we are giving um, these two kinds of bees more importance and more careful and we are doing our job in beekeeping just to increase the quantity of honeybees and increase the percentage of pollination then 
producing honey in manner, manner per purposes. In America, they paid for beekeeper a lot of amount of money. One moment, Riyadh. One moment, Riyadh. I'm going to stop the dog. Carry on. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So in America, for example, and many 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 countries, many agricultural countries, they paid to beekeeper a uh, amount, big amount for uh, transfer his colony and put it in their field, just to increase the quantity of uh, crops because they increase uh, the pollination and uh, increase the quantity of seeds particularly for cereals and uh, seeds crops. Okay. Even in fruit, fruit or urch urchids, because one make good pollination, it means we will get uh, like healthy fruit and high quality of fruit and full sizes without any uh, informed fruit uh, uh, like uh, like yeah, complete sh complete sh shape of fruits. Yeah. Uh, so uh, they they know the importance of honeybees and bumblebees. In Syria, for example, in Syria we yeah. importing every year the queens of bumblebees from Europe. Right. Every queen, every queen paid about hundred hundred US dollar to import one queen. Yes, one queen, hundred US dollar, one queen, and maybe two or three uh, like uh, workers in right. small box, right. and put in every greenhouse two boxes or okay. one box only, yep. just to making like this pollination. When we are doing in Syria like uh, uh, tomato, cucumber, uh, uh, many kinds of fruit under the greenhouses, we 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 need. Uh, pollinator 100 percent without pollinator we can't do and get any 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 piece of vegetable so bumblebee is doing uh, his job in uh, greenhouses okay. and continue uh, the production without bumblebees in greenhouses no pollination sometimes they use like uh, using like a strong fan but still not effective and efficiency of uh, using the, the fans will be maybe uh, 15 or 30 percent than the job done by bumblebees. Okay, okay. I think, uh, okay, it is enough or you need more question or something? No, more. that's wonderful because I don't know if you know, maybe you do traveling around, in our education system, obviously, particularly in this country, we don't often have young people and children exposed to this level of education just about bumblebees. Yeah. And in fact, most children, because I think most adults today still, are unaware of just how important bees are, that our food cycle would disappear if we didn't have bees. So it's wonderful to hear not only you speaking as an expert, but to have some educational material then that teachers, parents can take away and use with young people. And that's obviously what I'm hoping today people will be able to do. I just had a couple of questions, if I might, given that you are obviously such an yeah, expert. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. At the moment around the world, what are, what are the experts and the people working in the field doing most to protect bees particularly obviously honey and, and bumblebees because we hear all the time put more flowers in your garden that will help keep them around and keep pollination happening what what are the experts doing are they doing things to encourage their survival mm -hmm. by like planting some some kind of flower yeah. and stop using pesticide okay. and put little water in every corner of um uh, garden oh. and uh, uh, also uh, keep uh, wild flowers without any um, like uh, in agriculture job and keep every every field and also 
encourage planting crops special for bees and uh, uh, also uh, producing or take care for local bees and give them a lot of cares yeah. because uh, local bees uh, have like excel in their in their environment than okay. imported bees when we import bees like what happened in Syria and in Britain yeah. see really we have same problem in Syria since about uh, 1990 yeah. the people started to import Italian bees and Crinolian bees okay. and they damaged the strain Syrian bees in Britain also, since 40 years, yeah. a lot of traders, they imported uh, European bees like uh, Italian, Crinolian, uh, and um, Bockfast. They damaged the, the structure and uh, the component of genes in their local bees. And uh, they transferred a lot of disease and bees was um, struggling since long time right. of uh, yeah. disease and uh, the resistance against uh, the type of uh, uh, weather in, in Britain. Um, why the traders they imported and they made like this fault? Because imported bees to Britain they can't uh, 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 survive during winter. Right, okay. Beekeepers going to buy more bees next season. Right. So traders, they will continue their importing and selling and make a lot of profit. I am very happy of Brexit now right. because okay. they're not accepted to import any queens from Europe. Right. Last year, last year, there is a big fault happened by some traders, two traders, yeah. one of them in London, other, I don't know where. He imported a lot of uh, queens and uh, uh, like uh, uh, small nukes from Italy right. without right. any uh, inspection, without any license. Right. And they made a lot of troubles to beekeepers, and I was one of them. I, okay. I had uh, last winter big problem. Every queen, every bees imported by that person died and caused a lot of disease by viruses uh, and caused a lot of the problem to other uh, colonies. This year, Nobody imported one queen because not accepted by government right. and by beekeeping association, right. uh, British beekeeping association. Yeah. Uh, but they discovered uh, the result very late. But it is good now they discovered and they protected now their local bees. If we uh, uh, notice, look or check the bees available around us. Yeah. When I meet you, I will show you, for example, like, 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 like we'll check the flowers visiting, uh, the, the bees visiting the flowers. Okay. We will see more than 70% uh, of them dark. Right. They back again to their local bees. Oh, wonderful. Okay. Yeah, when, I, when you visit me and your children yeah. uh, in my apiary, I will show you how uh, black bee is doing very uh, good job. Uh, I hope the sign of my internet will be uh, protected. I will show you uh, the bees in my uh, garden now. Okay. How they are doing uh, okay. good job. Right. But I hope to still uh, have uh, the sign. Are you hearing? Yeah, can hear you fine, Riyad. Yep. Are you hearing? Still can. Yep, no problem. Look. Okay, if you pull, push the camera down a little can bit. See, can you see the bees? I can see. Oh, yes, I can see them flying around. Yes. 
Oh, look, there's lots of them. How they are black and very, very lovely. Yes, I can. They look a bit like flies instead of the traditional bees that we're used yeah. to seeing. Oh, look, there's lots of them. You see here? Thank you for that. Yes, yes, they're all over. I can see that all you have a lot of bees. <laughs> a lot of bees. Local, local bees. You see, I'm putting my head beside them. No sting me. And they don't sting you? you? Yeah, no sting. And is that because they are working so much? No, they are, they are lovely bees. They're local just friendly bees? bees. Yeah. Oh, that's brilliant. Are you hearing the voice of bees? I can hear a very faint sound, but I can't hear anything really loud, no. Yeah. But that, that is incredible. Yeah. <laughs> that is wonderful. Thank you so much. Thank you. Oh, wow. Black bees, which again, lots of young people and children and even adults have not heard of before. Yeah. They just haven't heard of them. You see, this is my mission. Yeah. My, my, my mission here is just to, to, to protect local bees. Yeah. My voice now reached to beekeeping association. Every month I have like a talk with uh, associations. Yeah. And then give them, give them my advice. Yeah. To protect local bees. Local bees. Like a person who born in this country, he can uh, adapt with the rain. Yes. and wet and cold yeah. long winter than a person came from africa yes he, 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 he can't live very well in this country because he adapted with hot it's harder uh, yeah. climate yeah and so can i ask when you had the problem last year with the queen bees coming in and then the viruses is this another example, do you feel, of where we're getting these zoonotic illnesses because we are transferring animals or insects from one environment to another? And obviously, yeah. so even yeah. with bees, we need yeah, to be yeah. incredibly same. careful. Yeah, same, same, yeah. Same, okay. Same but the problem is uh, that the person who imported last year, yeah. he imported without, without any license, without any inspection. Right. Okay. without any uh, health certificate regulation and it yeah. transferred a lot of viruses yeah really uh, i lost 50 percent or more, more than i lost uh, last last winter about 70 percent of my colonies oh riyad i am so sorry to hear that i lost yeah i lost that last year fifteen thousand pound and is that something that now obviously you say the regulations here have changed but this is something that's obviously been happening more regularly in the past because unregulated people have been able to import yeah, yeah, yeah. and export wow are the bees doing well now this year are things looking yeah, positive yeah, all, all, all recovered now from okay. the beginning of this season already i sent uh, to, uh, to inspection yeah. in london and the authority of animals and animal care I send them a report about yep. what happened, yep. and it, that, that report uh, helped them to to make uh, more like uh, uh, like uh, strong regulation and strong uh, controls okay. about uh, in, that, that person. When I contacted that person this year, yeah. uh, I, I asked him just to ask him. Have you any new queen? He said, no, 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 I haven't any queen this year. I didn't import any queen. And I received also a lot of messages from Italy and from companies in, in, in Europe. Yes. They requested me to, 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 to sell me a lot of queens in very low prices, but I didn't. No. I, I don't want to, to spoil, to spoil no. the, the genetics, the genes in our uh, local bees. Our local community bees. Yeah. Um, this is fascinating because again, it's so important. I'm dealing with this with certain other animals around the world and I don't think people realize it applies even to things that are as small as bees, that the zoonotic yeah. diseases through trading and sometimes illegal trading, like you say, um, is is causing huge problems with illness and viruses. So thank you for sharing that. It's really another important aspect that people learn about. Yeah. Um, other than that, I'm just thinking, well, um, my last question would be, you've obviously worked with bees for many, many, many years. What is it about bees that you love most? Why have you dedicated so much of your life to 
to bees and looking after bees. What did you love about them? I love the social life of bees. Okay. Because it is like optimum. Right. Optimum type of social life. If we follow their social life, yes. we will live in peaceful and happiness life. Yes. And we'll continue our mission mission in our in, in our in our life. Yes. Because bees uh, uh, teaching us about how we can uh, make economic life and social life and peaceful life cooperative life and happiness life and how we can organize our life very well uh, so it was it was maybe uh, the reason who uh, like encouraged me to start my life in beekeeping when i was a student yeah i remember when i was a student and first a practice session it was with uh, the inspector uh, he put us as a group every four students in one group yeah. and I shocked when I uh, 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 find or discovered how they organize their life not shocked I like, like uh, 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 inspired or like yeah, shock maybe in, in in negative. I want to to to, to talk about a, a positive. Like yeah. uh, uh, you, you can't show the best word because you are no inspired. I think I knew yeah, a little bit of what you just yeah, said. Yeah, inspired. Yeah. yeah, how how they are organizing, how they was organized their life. Yeah, and uh, believe me, that time I can't forget my my feel that that day. At that moment, I float and swim in the space of a future. How can I organize my life uh, as a beekeeper? Just to, to do the same time of their life. Since that day, till now, till this moment, I'm doing successful by successful. I haven't any unsuccessful moment in my life. All my life full and successful and uh, prog progress and um, doing everything positive because I'm doing same type of bee life, same uh, position of uh, bees uh, in their uh, environment. So you feel because you have adopted a lifestyle like bees, no matter yeah. what's been happening in your life, yeah. You view everything as progress and peaceful yeah. and positive. That is, a, I just can't think of a better message to pass on to the next generation or indeed lots of us in the world today that we could learn simply by getting closer to something like colonies of bees and learning from the way in which they live together and interact. That's a beautiful message. Thank you so much. Now, it's a wonderful you, message. You see, till now, I am eight years in the United Kingdom. Yeah. I didn't have any fine. I didn't break any regulation. I didn't make any fault. I'm following the regulation and uh, I have thousands of friends now in Britain. Yeah. As bees, as yeah. bees exactly. Yeah. I have a lot of friends. I will show you when I meet together. Yeah. I will show you my contacts in my mobile phone. Yeah. I have a lot of people I know and I forget their whom whom who these 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 yeah. these people this friend this friend and a lot of people shake their hand to me and making like hello Riyadh or um, uh, you are doing good job because because I'm doing just I'm beekeeper I didn't make something amazing but I'm doing with bees life like amazing life of bees I same am... same 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 type of life of bees. That's quite an inspiration for other people, I think, to hear as well, Riyadh, yeah. because it extends more. I know, obviously, you've come from another country and now you live in England. It's wonderful to hear such a positive, uplifting message and that you've actually sought inspiration from the little bees that you work with. That's, that, that's a beautiful message to pass on for the next generation to realise how yeah. much the nature around them can help them. 
and yeah. watching the way nature behaves and interacts can help them establish a life that leaves them very happy and healthy. That's a wonderful message. Yeah, uh, I have several several visit visit to to to, to, to schools. Yep. Last time, last last visit, it was uh, to Wellhouse School. Yes. Yep. And when I finished my visiting, they gifted me this house. Every student give me a label, B label. Oh and, look! And they wrote something, some some kind of thanks, their name and uh, greeting, some greeting. You see, it it is very very beautiful gift. I it's had that stunning. Time, it's absolutely I, I stunning. I will show you. I will show you when we meet together and to read uh, their, their 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 comment. Thank you. The children would really like to see that, I think. Yeah. That, that is just yeah. wonderful and it's quite interesting. It's quite similar to my experience with children. Gift. That's beautiful. Yeah. And also other school, I think it was in Dewsbury. They gave me this gift also. Oh, look. And they, no, put comments here, but maybe not uh, clear. To Riyadh, and then always, you'll have to read the bit below after to Riyadh to me. What does it say after to Riyadh? Always be, ha be happy. Always be happy. Yeah. That is beautiful. I'm so privileged that obviously you've been you able see, to take a little like, bit of your time they, to do they this. They've drawn, they drawn this, uh, this photo. It's be and it's incredibly good, I have to say. It looks like a proper painting. Yeah. So, everything in my house related to bees. Bees. Just for put a glass of tea, ceramic. Do you think they bring you some uh, luck, your bees, Riyadh? Uh, my my pillow. Where is my pillow? Oh, where is it? My pillow. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah he, he, see, this is my pillow. Pillow. Oh look. Oh, look. <laughs> My cushion. <laughs> that is just wonderful. And my garden, so you see my garden full of bees. You see my garden. Oh, look at all the avery's look. So even my garden should to, to be together with, with bees. Yes. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, Riyadh, thank you so much indeed. It is such a privilege to speak to someone who is as eminent in your field and knows as much as you about bees. You don't come across that every day. And I'm very excited that now some other young people around the world will be able to share the knowledge you shared today. Um, yeah. And what I'll do is I'll say goodbye for now. Say goodbye for okay. now. Okay. 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 Thank and you. thank okay. you so much indeed. You're welcome. You're welcome. Okay, thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.